Um, one of them is going to be really quick and, and straightforward, and that's going to be how to post from here. How to post from your Facebook fan or like page. It used to be called a fan page, but technically now it's a like page, which is kind of silly to me. But <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to show you how to just do the very simple Facebook to to Twitter, and then I'm going to show you how to do Facebook to multiple different social media platforms. First one is extremely simple, it's the beginner method, but it's also very one-dimensional, and that would just be posting from your fan or like page. Now this is not your regular Facebook profile page, it's literally your fan page, okay? So you go to that address I have right there. Um, you guys may or may not want to write that down. This year I will be able to provide everybody this PowerPoint to take home and you know review and whatnot. Literally you just go to that address right there, and this is what you're going to see pop up. It's um, the Facebook Twitter app. Um, if you have a page already created, as you see I have two, they're automatically going to be showing right there. Um, what you're going to want to do is, once you're there, you're going to click right on the button where it says uh, link to Twitter. Um, now for some reason, sometimes when you do this, you may have to hit your refresh button. I don't know why. Sometimes it goes straight to there. But if you don't see that pop up after hitting the link, Twitter button, just hit refresh, and then it should just pop right over there, no problem. Once you're here, all you're gonna do is enter your username or email and your password, and then click allow. And once you do that, it's gonna redirect you back to Facebook. Now once redirected back here, um, see where it says uh, status updates, photos, video, that type of stuff? You can basically customize what you want to be allowed, uh, what you want to allow Facebook to publish over to Twitter, I recommend clicking them all because this is all about getting as much content out there as possible and branding yourself and making yourself look like a leader to the people that are looking to book, book travel. So why not share everything? So once you've clicked all those boxes, then uh, you just click edit set, um, save changes, and then that's pretty much it. Now, that's literally it. I mean, it may seem too simple, but that's literally all you need to do. And from that point forward, every time you post anything on your Facebook fan page, it'll automatically propagate over to Twitter. <clears throat> now, this is a little bit more advanced, but not really. Um, it's not really that much difficult. It's definitely the recommended way. Um, so what this is, is it's using a service called ping.fm. And that's literally the, the, the web address you would type into your address bar. It's just ping.fm, no .com, .net, nothing. It's ping.fm. What that's going to do? Oops, hold on. Let me use this. Oh yeah. So when using this method, you still want to do what I just showed you first, okay? Which is set up the, the Facebook to Twitter. <clears throat> the reason you're going to do that is going to give you added flexibility, and I'm going to show you why that is. So if you're going to do the this way, make sure you set up the beginner way first, and then do what I'm about to show you. <clears throat> so the reason being is there may be times. When you want to do a quick post, like say you're already on your fan page, you just have an idea, a thought, or whatever, and you just want to post it real quick, if you set up that first step like I just showed you, then you'll still be able to post right there from Facebook to Twitter. Super easy. Um, plus, if you're using Facebook application on your phone, um, then again, you can just post right from, from there and it'll go over to your Twitter page. Um, a tip that I recommend, um, most this I think works on Blackberries, iPhones, Androids, is there's an application called AnyPost, and that's actually an app that integrates with ping.fm. So what I'm about to show you can actually work from your cell phone as well, the, the advanced method that I'm about to show you. <clears throat> so what the heck is ping.fm? Has anybody even heard of that ping.fm? Anyone in the room? Looks like we got one. <laughs> so all it is is it's a social networking and microblogging web service that enables users to post multiple social networks simultaneously. Huge, huge time saver. Before ping.fm, you literally had to log into multiple spots to get the same piece of content out. <clears throat> so bonus. Uh, one thing I like a lot about ping.fm, and a lot of people have commented, like Facebook, it wastes my time, it's a black hole, you know, rabbit, you know, you go on there for, to do something for two minutes, and 30 minutes later, you're still clicking around on Facebook, right? With ping.fm, you can actually, you don't see other people's profiles, you don't see posts, so you can go in, do your posts and not be distracted, be in and out in a matter of minutes. Um, so I really like that because it reduces the risk of being distracted by Facebook. So <clears throat> this is the, when you go to ping.fm, this is what you will see when you get there. To sign up is as simple as it can be. They don't even want your name. They just want an email address and a password. So you can literally have an account in 30 seconds. <clears throat> now, 
Okay, so this is a, a, a warning or just kind of a heads up on your settings. So if you post from Facebook using the, the beginner method I showed you guys at first, which I highly recommend you have that set up, then you don't want to have ping.fm post to your Twitter account because then you're going to have a double posting on Twitter. Um, and then people don't like seeing the same content posted twice from the same person. The reason that would happen is if you set up ping to post to, to Twitter, it's going to do that, but you can also set up ping to post to your fan page. So if your fan page is also posting to Twitter, that's how you're going to get a double post. Ping is going to put it there, going to put it to your fan page, which will also put it over there. So that's just a little heads up. So you'll notice if you look at the very top, this is your dashboard. So once you're logged in, this is basically your dashboard or your home page. And the column over here to the right where it says uh, Twitter, Facebook, Facebook pages, Google Buzz, and all those things, that shows you the social networks that you're currently posting to. So when you go in there, it's not going to, it's by default, it's not going to be posting to Twitter. So just leave it alone. Basically, it's as simple as that. Just leave it alone. Um, I didn't, because of lack of time, I didn't sit, uh, include in the slides how to actually set up each of these, but it's extremely easy. Um, you just click, uh, when you say add more networks, they're down at the bottom, and it just walks you right through it. I mean, when I first set this up, I knew nothing about it, and it, it literally, it's really, really easy. Um, and you guys, if you have questions, of course, email, call me, whatever after this, but it's super, super simple. Um, what's that? Oh, right here. Add more right here. It says add more networks. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's... Oh, there. That's right. We're going to get the slideshow. Yeah, you're going to get the slideshow, and, and there's a potential to do a follow-up webinar and stuff when we're all, all back at home. Because I know it's a lot of information. It's new to a lot of you. Um, but I just want to let you know the possibilities that are out there. Uh, all right. So, when you click, um, you know, add more networks, basically this is the page it takes you to. So you can see the, the power of, of ping literally can allow you to take one post and have it end up all over the place, um, which is huge. Um, the most important ones, though, are those ones on the left-hand side. Those are the biggest social networks. Uh, if you want to take the time to set up all those others, you know, there's definitely benefit to that. But it's, I would focus on, you know, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, Facebook fan pages and what, what's up there. All right. So how do you do a post? It's super simple. It's just like very, very similar to Twitter. You just type um, your message in there where it says type your message. As I, you see, I put headed to Las Vegas. This is a marketing event I went to last week. So you just enter that. You hit ping. And now you're going to watch it go all over the internet. So this is um, posting on my just personal profile. There's that same content, headed to Las Vegas. See, the same content. And see where, like, there's a picture of me scuba diving and there's a big P right there? That, that's how you know it's coming from ping. So that's just letting everybody on Facebook, if they see that post, know that you originally posted it in ping. That's all that, that P means. But there it is again. Now this is my, one of my fan pages. So again, there's that same content, headed to Las Vegas. And here's Twitter, same content again, headed to Las Vegas, so on and so forth. And then here's even LinkedIn. Um, with the second one from the bottom, same content. <clears throat> so literally, that one con you know, piece of content took me you know, 30 seconds to put up and it went to all of those places and more. All right, so that's all that I'm gonna cover on how